And yeah, so like, like going forward, I feel like I can mess around with the order of games a lot more. Okay, I can control. I was about to press start to look at the name of the song. That's not a thing, though. <laughs> I can't even press start, in fact. Project Sonic Colors! That includes the drill, specifically. Yeah, poo, sir. That's right. Gotta have one of those in your game, team. Alright, this is an interactive credit. Maybe this, like, I heard that a game's for the credits are pretty long. Maybe it's because it's a Noto scroller. Whoa, okay, that homing attack, though. Didn't see it coming. Alright, you know what? Let's talk about the game. It's fine! It's mostly, genuinely pretty fine. Yeah, okay, so even though I got boost power, it's not like I can, like, go more, so... I can go laser if I want. Yeah, all the triangles! I sometimes feel like the game would be better if it was not a Sonic game. Like, keep a lot of the things the same, including the Wisps. And, uh, like, what kind of like that, huh? Yeah, that's right. Destroying the universe. But, like, like, I feel like the part that are Sonics are parts that just kind of end up getting in the way. Because, because it's a Sonic game, you need to have big, long-running sections. You need to have a physics engine that wants you to go fast. Uh, but with the Wisp, you know, you get a lot of, like, fun, uh, like, you know, creative, like, location-based puzzles. You get, like, you know, the, the fact that you want to search around and look for things. But it's just that the basic way that Sonic controls, I felt, is the one thing that got the most in the way. And, uh, yeah, there's a world where Sega actually dared to do a non-Sonic platformer, but had, like, everything else Wisp related in it, and it would probably better than what this game was. That's what I think. Like, a lot of the bad parts, I feel are just, they're, they're just kind of trapped in what you expect out of a Sonic game. I don't know. I could be wrong. I expect to be wrong, to be fair. But these are my thoughts at this point. I thought the game was mostly pretty alright. It's not spectacular. But it's absolutely alright. I never use Rocket. I don't really like Rocket all that much, so it makes sense to me. Um And yeah, like I don't know, is there anything else to do to say? I feel like I kinda went through my thoughts. There were not that many thoughts. I genuinely like a lot of the game world places. I know they're probably not the most exciting thing in the world, but they work for what they are. What else can you ask for? A lot. <laughs> Probably a lot. I don't know. I it it is very possible that this is just a better play game than the spectator game. You know, most people I mean nowadays we make games that are specifically made to be spectator games, but back then, nah. And I mean I can't not blame them for that. That is an unrealistic thing. An unrealistic expectation, like, I think this would happen. But also, one thing that definitely needs to change, that needs to be modified. If you're gonna give uh, an emphasis on platforming, to the point where you will see fit to give a double jump, I feel like, um, the homing attack should have been a button that is not jump. I'm aware that it's possible that, you know, they were making the game specifically to work with a sideways Wii mode. That's fair, but you're also making the game specifically for like a whole slew of controller options. I, I feel like you could have, you know, made a change for control methods that would enable you to actually have more than two buttons. I don't know, man. That's what I think. Like, I guess you... you... Oh, so probably to use um, the Wisps, if you're playing on, like, sideways Wiimote, it's uh, probably shake, shake the camera? The camera. 
the the controller. I don't know. I'm sure you could have thought of something else for homing attack. I don't know. It's just it's weird. It's it's just the big frustration point. Because sometimes, like I want to double jump in order to you know just just kind of an extra little bit of precision while trying to hop on a platform. But then, oops. There's another enemy on the other side of the screen. Well, we know what we want here to happen. It's like, no, no, Sega, I swear, I just wanted the double, like here, I didn't expect that to happen. I just wanted to do a double jump there as a measure of demonstration. And instead, you, you homing attack the part that I didn't even know existed. That is exactly what I'm talking about. So thank you for the very clear illustration of uh, sort of my main bugbear about this game. No regret getting after the red rings. Uh, I'm glad I did, because I feel like, I feel like I would miss out on a lot in this game, like to be perfectly honest. I mean, some of the red rings were kind of lame, and some of them were kind of unfair. But I think it's a meaningful part of the game. Like, I know that, you know, there's that mantra, you know, if you're playing Sonic, in order to have fun, do the least amount possible. <laughs> I, I stick by it, but I think everyone agrees that that is a messed up mantra, though. Like, the fact that it speaks so real, like, that's not good! Like, that is incredibly not good, and so I think it's only fair to play with the level, you know, play with the game and the systems and try to see what they wanted people to do with them, even if it doesn't work out, especially if it doesn't work out. I don't know, to just kind of get a feel why. So I cannot interrupt wheel while it's wheeling. Okay, there we go. Again, did not expect that homing attack. Ugh! This game. <laughs> to the end! Oh, now we get the Sega of America credits. They're represented by Cube! Cuban! And, uh, we're doing that again. Why did I jump up so high? I must have bounced on the Okay, yeah, yeah, I bounced up on Leonard by that. That's what happens. Alright, that's fair. And at this point, yeah, I feel like I've said my piece. I, I feel like I've said my thoughts. If they were shared. You know what I'm thinking. Uh, coming up next. No, we kind of had a run and still are having a run of like some weird like sci-fi notions. Uh, like it's true here, fighting robots. You know, we're in space and you know, and I'm playing Portal right now. Fighting robots and doing weird, like, impossible science, like portals. Uh, well, uh, coming up next, we're sticking to an amount of sci-fi. Uh, we are going to be dealing with a future state of the world and dealing with robots. Though, uh, though the tone is going to be a lot different. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. It's going to take a while, though. Alright, uh, yeah, this is a long credit. Now look, standards tester, these tests for the standards. It's pretty good. I'm cute sometimes. We've got like a click sound, talk clock sound, because, yeah. Why can't you give me frenzy? Because I would not be able to go faster. Oh my god, really? This just keeps going, huh? Like, I'm gonna be real, I feel like I said, I legitimately, the music looped twice. Is it, is it gonna be the same song again? I think it's actually a different song at the very least. Like, I understand, you know, you gotta give credit where credit is due. But, uh, I might, I might just chipmunk. I, look, I, I, I said what I had to say. I'm not just gonna make baby noises for the rest. I said what had to be said, and more. Hey! Unleash! Oh, what? The letters don't make Grobic more? Nonsense. 
nonsense than that. The reason I was excited for using Frenzy was that, you know, then you get super big as you're eating all the letters. And that didn't even happen. Why does it bother me that the Wisp and the Bottom are not oriented in the proper, like, Order of a Rainbow? <laughs> it really does bother me. I don't know why, there's no reason for it. Now Earth just has a big ring like Saturn's. Whoa, we didn't get, like, one-ups. That's weird, but okay. Oh, probably for the amount of rings I gathered? Like, the more rings and stuff you break, the more one-ups you get that you can't really use afterwards. Put your backsides into it! Technically, we don't have backsides, boss. You do have it back. Just push! You have it behind you. I already have my revenge planned out, and next time I will not fail! Of course you won't, boss. Of course you won't. On the bright side, a certain someone got their voice back. Oh, boy. I feel like my old self! Although when he was talk, talk, talk! Hey, remember when we were chasing off the alien guy? What's up with those things anyway? They sure were funny looking! Ha <laughs> ha! Smell that though? Yeah. What I wouldn't give for the maddening silence of space right about now. Hey, I heard they started using fish! Barbara, we didn't bring any... I mean, surely you can, like, cut sound from going through to your, uh, fully, well, maybe you just, like, whatever mechanism that will let you turn it off is. Like, maybe it's stuck on, 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 basically, is what I'm saying. It's possible. The joke is Robotnik is following his hubris. Whoa, then it's hard reset. Okay. Alright, that's fair, I guess. It's not a hard reset. It's just, we're back here. I just want to see, like, I just, the, the last dot on the map, like, I'm just curious, like, is, it's, no, it's gonna be Act 2. That, like, that lasts, like, nothing. So, yeah, officially, 12 hours and 10 minutes. Everything here is doing okay. Ah, uh, yeah, so you don't get a rating. Act 2. So it's just Act 2 that then just kind of ends. Yeah, so, next time! Can I have to go there? What's that? Oh. Okay. You can go back there if you want. If you want, if you want to listen to the credit, man. Look, buddy, we got you covered. 